Wire Wall is a new way to monitor coastal wave hazard. It's a capacitance wire system placed on a sea wall. As overtopping waves pass the wires, they produce saltwater contact signals, which we process to give us information on the velocity and volume of water coming over a defence during storms. At Crosby Liverpool, we're collecting data to plan and design a new coastal scheme. The latest measurements help us calibrate numerical modelling to help us predict overtopping rates, which will inform the design. In designing uh, crest levels for uh, seawall structures, we use numerical um, models based on empirical data that we've collected for various types of seawall design. We then use those and check them against different sea levels and water conditions to help set the crest level. So uh, once we've set the crest level on the structures, what we then tend to do is explore different storm conditions and then look at how that affects public safety in terms of threshold limits for the seawall design and how it's going to be used. Eurotop is the guidance used to design new sea walls. We use this tool to estimate seawall overtopping to design a new measurement system. A 3D capacitance wire mesh measures the fast and frequent water jets. This helps us calculate site-specific tolerances and calibrate methods within Eurotop. This reduces uncertainty in seawall design, which helps reduce costs. The uh, system here originates from past research for measuring breaking waves uh, deployed uh, where the capacitance wires were deployed on spar buoys uh, in the open ocean. Transferring this technology to the top of a sea defence allows us to measure water overtopping the sea defences during storm conditions. HR Wallingford's flume is a controlled environment which allows us to test and validate the risk of the rig while we develop a field rig to mount on sea defences. So this flume provides known wave conditions so that we can test and validate the data that's being provided by the wire wall system. The system measures every individual wave that passes the wires, so as well as total volumes that come over the sea defence, we can get statistics on maximum and mean velocities and volumes. Recent improvements in technology mean that we can now measure at 400 times a second, which is fast enough to capture the speed of water jets that are going up to 100 miles an hour as they cross the sea defence. A design challenge of the Wirewall project is to enable the concept to be moved from the lab to the coast. Um, there it will be subject to violent water jets and also debris in the seawater. Even if damage occurs, there's built-in redundancy to enable data to still be collected. The system uses several sets of wires to gather information during high tide when the waves come over the top. This configuration captures the shape of the spray as it passes through the system. The combined modelling and the monitoring is a new approach to collect required observations. The information supports management decisions when designing new schemes. This is the first step towards monitoring the performance of a defence. Data captured can also validate and improve flood forecasting systems.